Hi everyone, this is Emma. Today I'm working with Red Heart Super Saver Yarn and a 5.5mm crochet hook. Start with a slip knot. And you're going to work a chain that will wrap around the hips. Yarn around the hook, pull it through. For 40 inch hips, that would be approximately 120 chains. So after you have your chain, you're going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Slip stitch to join. Okay, so now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to make a double crochet, slow motion of a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert the hook through the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. So yarn around the hook, and I'm going to skip the next stitch, and I'm going to double crochet in the next. Chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next, like that, I'm going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, I finished my last double crochet, now I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that chain three because that took the place of a double crochet and a chain one. And that's the waistband. So now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and that takes the place of this first double crochet. Now I'm going to double crochet in this space. Now if you like, you can double crochet right into the stitch. So I'm going to do that. So double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the chain one space, double crochet in the next double crochet like that and we're going to work all the way around okay I worked all the way around making a double crochet in each double crochet and a double crochet in each chain one space I made my last double crochet at the end of the row find your first chain two slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and Again, at the end of this row, it might be wise to check to make sure that you have multiples of six. If not, you could squeeze a few in. Okay, so now I'm going to start with my pattern. Now there's the opening for my double crochet. So I'm going to chain two. I'm going to make the first shell. And this first chain two will take the place of the first double crochet. I'm going to make one more double crochet in the same stitch. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to make two more double crochet in this same stitch. One and two. So that makes a shell of two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, so that's that first shell. Now I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to make a front post double crochet in the next stitch. And to make a front post double crochet, you'll go from the front, you'll go around the post of the double crochet, and complete the double crochet. Now you could just do plain double crochet if you didn't want this to stick out, but this just gives the shirt a little bit more structure. So now I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to make a shell in the next stitch. So that is double crochet, double crochet, chain one, and another two double crochet on that same stitch. See that? All in the same stitch. So two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And now I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to make a front post double crochet in this stitch. Like that. You can see I have a post and a shell and a post and a shell. So I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to make a shell in the next stitch. Double crochet, double crochet, 
chilling. Double crochet. Double crochet. And now it's time for another front post. So skip two, front, around the post, complete the double crochet. Now I'm going to go around. I'm going to do the work all the way around. Skip two, make a shell, skip two, make a front post, double crochet. Okay, I worked all the way around making a shell and a post, a shell and a front post, and there's two stitches left, and I worked my last post, and now I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of that first chain two. And now every row will be exactly the same. So you're going to slip stitch into this first chain one space, chain two, one, two, Make another double crochet in the same space, chain one, and then two double crochet, one and two. So you see you're making a shell in the center of the shell of the previous row. Now yarn over, you find this for next front post double crochet, make a front post double crochet in that stitch. So you're making a shell in a shell front post in a front post. To the next chain one space, make two double crochet, one, two, chain one, and two double crochet, one, and two. Yarn around the hook, make a front post double crochet in that next front post. So now you're just going to work all the way around making a shell in the shell and a front post in the front post, shell, front post, work all the way around. When you get back to the end, you're going to slip stitch to join in the top of that chain two, then you'll slip stitch right up to the chain one space and start your next shell. You're just going to continue to do that until your skirt is the length that you would like. And when you've worked as many rows as you like, that last row will form a nice scalloped bottom on your skirt. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.